guys welcome back to my channel um <clears throat> this is the first video i've ever filmed at night so i set up my box lights um and i hope that the lighting looks okay i don't know i guess we'll see when i edit it edit this but um so tonight my husband and i went and had dinner with my father-in-law and it was my husband's best friend's birthday party um but it was getting way too late to take the baby out so me and Gianna came home and I put her to bed and I realized that I'm like five weeks behind on my pregnancy updates. So that's what this video is. Um, <clears throat> so this video is going to be weeks 25 through weeks 29 of this pregnancy. And um, these weeks like seriously, totally just completely got away from me. And the last I left you guys was after my growth scan on October 8th. And we got um, like not the best news and I let you guys know that I had my follow-up growth scan on October 30th and I fully meant to record this video then and I just didn't get around to it um, we've had even more stuff going on in the last video I told you guys all like I enrolled back in school and work and taking care of an 18 month old and then on top of all of that um, we were looking more seriously into buying a house and we actually made an offer on a house and so we're in the whole process of that right now which is a whole nother topic and so this intro is just out of control and super long so let's just get into the pregnancy update and i'll make another update later about the rest of this junk so weeks 25 through 29 um, at 29 weeks, baby was the size of a papaya and my weight is at 165 pounds, which means I've gained 10.6 pounds, which is great because, um, in my last video, I was telling you guys I'd only gained four pounds and that was not good. Um, and baby girl, she's been measuring behind and her name's Kaylee. So I can say that now because I actually put out my name reveal video. So yes baby Kaylee um so yes my weight gain is up and that's great I'm sleeping um just uncomfortable I mean it's to be expected at this point um not terrible just uncomfortable and I'm finding it really difficult I'm having to get up to go to the bathroom several times at night and it's just difficult getting up like I'm having to like heave myself out of bed or like rock to get myself <laughs> up and out of bed. So sleeping okay, uncomfortable, but that's to be expected. So the best moments in these weeks, um, the first one would be October, or I'm sorry, November 3rd. And that's when I turned 28 weeks, which, which means I'm officially in the third trimester. So that is very, very exciting. Um, I remember when I was pregnant with my first daughter, like reading that once you get into the third trimester that God forbid baby were to come early or need to be delivered, that their chances of survival were much, much higher once you reach the third trimester. Um, but with Kaylee, because she's measuring behind and measuring small, that's not as reassuring to me um, because I know that she's a little bit behind. So again, God forbid if something were to happen and she would she be born now, I don't feel like, like the risk is, you know, declined this huge amount because she's measuring small. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, it's still exciting to be in the third trimester and just knowing that we're getting so much closer. I just don't have the same kind of like reassurance that I did in my last pregnancy. Another great moment in these weeks was um, my follow-up growth scan. And so that's gonna lead me into doctor's appointments. I had three doctor's appointments over the course of these weeks. I had two of my two week OB appointments. Um, and then we had our growth scan, follow-up growth scan on October 30th. And we got really great news. Um, Kaylee had a pretty big growth spurt. She gained almost a whole pound. So she went from weighing, went from weighing one, one pound, four ounces to weighing two pounds, one ounce. So almost a whole pound, but she is over two pounds now. So that's just really, really exciting. Um, she was measuring over a week behind 
before, but at this last appointment um, on the 30th, she was measuring right at about a week. It's an, I think it's like a week and one day behind, which isn't huge. So that was really great. Um, and the best part of all of this is it puts her in the 13th percentile. So at our first, that other growth scan where we found out she was measuring behind and small, she was in the ninth percentile. And so when baby is under the 10th percentile is when they really start worrying about you. Um, but with this recent growth spurt that she had, she's now in the 13th percentile. So that puts her over the 10th. Um, still small obviously but like that kind of progress was just so exciting and so reassuring to hear that she's making progress so i think that was definitely by far the greatest moment of these weeks symptoms i've had like a slew of symptoms like just so much stuff like and it's really just like a whole bunch of discomfort like heartburn is daily like every single day i'm having heartburn um lots of gas pains headaches have been really bad too almost daily with the headaches um a lot of like digestive pains like or gas i don't know if it's gas or digestive like it's just like painful all the time um a lot of stretching and cramping and pulling in my like lower abdomen area and i guess that's pretty much it. and also the veins in my breasts are like super super dark like just all over the place and like really, really dark and very creepy looking. Food cravings, um, I can't really remember any anything like severe. The past week I've been having cravings for biscuits and gravy. Like I, every breakfast I want biscuits and gravy. Um, and food aversions, I again, I can't really think of anything. Um, and it's not really aversions, but I'm trying to avoid like spicy foods just because of like the heartburn, but it really doesn't matter what I eat. I'm going to get heartburn anyway. So yeah, I try to avoid spicy foods, but not, I mean, not a lot. What I miss in these weeks, I don't really miss anything. Um, I guess just feeling comfortable because I'm starting to just feel so uncomfortable. What I'm looking forward to um, in these weeks and probably all weeks going forward is just the growth scans because I'm just so excited to see that she's making progress and it's just so reassuring um going back and i've only had one follow-up growth scan and she made all that progress so i'm just hoping that it continues on that path but that's what i'm always looking forward to now is the growth scans just so that we can check on her and make sure that she's still making progress movement yes of course um and i'm feeling her a lot more and it's also this is also reassuring i'm feeling her more like on the outsides like further reaches like up in my ribs and like I've always felt her real low but like more towards my sides and like towards my back like I'm feeling her a lot more there like especially if I like hunch over like I can really feel her like up in my ribs and so that's also reassuring just it just tells me that she's getting bigger um because I mean I'm feeling her more like reaching out to the like outer parts of my abdomen no I don't have stretch marks yet um, and I didn't get any with my my first daughter so fingers crossed um, that I don't again that would be awesome if I do I don't care but as of right now no stretch marks so that's it guys for weeks 25 through 29 <coughs> um, I'm gonna try to get these done more frequently and keep up with them it's just life is freaking bananas right now so um that's that thank you guys for sticking around um if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and we will see you guys for my next video bye